Appeal to authority has no exceptions. There is a curious exception to the appeal to authority logical fallacy. An appeal to authority is when you have an argument that you'd like to support, and to support that argument, you point to someone else who is an expert or authority on the matter. This person might have a degree. This person may have a lot of experience relevant to the field. This person may simply be someone that you and other people trust. Regardless of the way that this person has become an authority in whatever field is necessary to be considered an authority by you or anyone else. Just because you have a college degree doesn't mean you are smart. To say that that person's beliefs, that person's statements, somehow make something true is always an appeal to authority logical fallacy. Simply by virtue of someone saying that it is true does not make it true. But the problem is that some people will use this appeal to authority and they'll go, oh, hey, this person has a degree that qualifications that somehow makes it or in the case of bigger scientific consensus, well, a bunch of scientists agree. So is it true? No, it continues to be a fallacy. But I've noticed that several locations on the internet that discuss the argumentum ad vernaculum or whatever it is, uh, vericundium, wow. I have noticed that some places on the internet which discuss the appeal to authority fallacy have carved out a curious exception to the fallacy. I will read you one right now. From Logically Fallacious at logicallyfallacious.com. Exception. Be very careful not to confuse deferring to an authority on the issue with the appeal to authority fallacy. Remember, a fallacy is an error in reasoning. Dismissing the council, and they spelled council like it's a council of people, not like your lawyer's council, of legitimate experts and authorities turns good skepticism into denialism. Notice the term denialism, which is often used when discussing anthropogenic, human-caused, climate change. The appeal to authority is a fallacy in argumentation, but deferring to an authority is a reliable heuristic that we all use virtually every day on issues of relatively little importance. Notice that this has already shot itself in the foot. There is always a chance that any authority can be wrong. That's why the critical thinker accepts facts provisionally. And then in bold text, it is not at all unreasonable or an error in reasoning to accept information as provisionally true by credible authorities. Of course, the reasonableness is moderated by the claim being made, i.e., how extraordinary, how important, and the authority, how credible, how relevant to the claim. So this hole in the appeal to authority fallacy where you can defer to experts, somehow that's an exception. Somehow we should accept the belief of some experts when it doesn't matter that much. But it says right here, the appeal to authority fallacy is a fallacy in argumentation, but deferring to an authority is a reliable heuristic. What's a heuristic? A heuristic is a way in which we make guesses. It is an educated guess, but a guess nonetheless. It is not factual. We simply accept some things as true, either because we have no other choice, or because we don't have the time to vet the information for ourselves. So, while this exception may hold true if you simply don't have the time, and it doesn't really matter that much, to the overall discussion, you know, nobody's really going to complain about someone saying water is wet. You know, if an expert says water is wet, you're probably not going to argue that when you're talking about whether or not something floats on water. But let's take the climate change thing, which seems to be based on the use of the word denialism, the main reason this exception has been carved out. This heuristic... Do we use a heuristic like this for the acceptance of the narrative about human-caused climate change? 
No, it's an appeal to authority. It is a logical fallacy, especially with such a large claim. If it's directly involved in the claim being true, if someone's making an assertion and they have to appeal to an authority for that assertion to be true, the science is settled. There is a consensus. It's always an appeal to authority, logical fallacy, for them to just point at the authority and say, they say it's true, and they know more than me. Well, the authority's not the one arguing. You are. You have to back your own statements. And if all you can do is say, ask that guy, and that guy's not taking part in the discussion, you fail to support your claims. Furthermore, obviously, um, there isn't a scientific consensus, and that I don't want to get into the global warming thing too deep. But the point is that this exception that's been carved out, first of all, as they say, it's a reliable heuristic, but it's only a heuristic. It's only a guess that we all use virtually every day on issues of relatively little importance. So why would you bother looking up authority? We went over that, really. There is always an ch a chance that any authority can be wrong. Yeah. That's why it's always an appeal to authority, fallacy, to appeal to authority. Because authorities can be wrong. Look at the situation that we've all gone through with COVID-19 and coronavirus. There are a lot of authorities that have been very wrong on a lot of issues. There are a lot of authorities that conflict with other authorities. But most importantly, the authorities that have been held up in various mainstream media outlets as the authorities on this matter, on the whole coronavirus situation, have turned out to not necessarily know what they're talking about in some instances. Some of them are not as well informed as you would hope. There's been a joint statement released by the American College of Emergency Physicians and the American Academy of Emergency Medicine. Let me read that statement. The AECP and AAEM jointly and emphatically condemn the recent opinions released by Dr. Erickson and Dr. Massini. These reckless and untested musings do not speak for medical societies and are inconsistent with current science and epidemiology regarding COVID-19. It's running contrary to the scientific community. It's not running contrary to the scientific community because these people People are a part of the scientific community. I am so excited to talk to you. What can you tell us about what you found? Dr. Aran Ben David of Stanford says at the time he did the testing, official records showed 1,000 cases of the virus in their county. But he says the study of the antibodies indicates the estimated number could be up to 80,000. Is that more or less than you expected? Our findings um, suggest that it's, there are about 50, somewhere between 50 and 85 fold more infections in our county than what's known by the number of cases, than are reported by our Department of Public Health. What we're seeing is the tip of a big iceberg. Simply being an authority, being an expert, having 25 years of experience with infectious disease doesn't mean that you're not wrong. All authority should always be questioned all of the time unless you have no choice but to defer to them due to time constraints or lack of information. And the data doesn't support lockdown. The data hasn't supported lockdown after two weeks into the thing. This disease never went exponential. But the authorities continue to say to this day, a couple of months after we started locking everybody in their homes, that we need to lock down even more. Some of them say that we need to lock down for two more years. These authorities are wrong. They are demonstrably wrong. People are defying lockdown orders because it is plain to see for even a very simple person that they're wrong. And it's a perfect illustration of why the appeal to authority logical fallacy does not have exceptions. It is always a fallacy in logic to appeal to authorities, to defer to an expert who isn't there and can't answer directly for what it is that's being argued. 
You cannot commit an appeal to authority and get away with it just because some website says, wait, there's an exception to this fallacy. You can defer to experts. It's totally fine. It's a, it's a heuristic, bro. We use heuristics all the time. You don't use heuristics in logical reasoning like that. Heuristics are guesses. You use facts. Logic requires facts. If you don't have the facts, admit that you don't have the facts. If you're guessing, that's fine. Admit that you're guessing. But it needs to be clear that it is a guess and not factual. And both parties in the argument need to agree that it's okay to rely on this guess, that this guess is acceptable. Both parties must conclude that it's reasonable to move forward with the guess. If one does not, then that's the end of it. You have to back it up with facts, or your assertion is not valid by default. Appeal to authority has no exceptions. Don't let these websites tell you otherwise. Have a wonderful day. Ooh, yeah, uh, climate change makes my joints hurt.